um, our religious faith that calls upon us to protect the young, uh, to protect children, and emphasizes the importance of keeping families connected. In fact, there is a strong tradition in our faith that our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had once said that um, there's a grave punishment for the person that separates a child from their mother. And in that spirit, uh, we're coming forward to offer um, a solution to the crisis um, right here at the Islamic Society of Tampa Bay area. We are uh, stepping forward and offering to host all 2,300 migrant children that are currently in detention, all of them. And this hosting also includes the cost of transportation. We've secured the pledges from uh, local community members as well as uh, business individuals that have pledged to uh, cover the cost of the transportation and to bring them here to Tampa Bay. And we have um, hundreds of Muslim families that are prepared to host these children uh, in their homes at their own cost with the goal that these uh, they would be continue to be taken care of and hosted until they can be reunified with their parents or their next of kin our ultimate goal is to protect the children these children continue to be housed and locked up uh, into these detention centers which we find to be unacceptable some of them as young as eight months old this will be completely self-funded by the community here um, in uh, tampa and um, will not cost the government anything. What we want to do is, you know, with this solution, we're calling on the Trump administration, as well as the Department of Homes, Homeland Security, to take immediate steps to release these children and to work out the logistics with us to be able to transport them here to the Tampa Bay area.